My name is Jim Walker. I'm with Hacker Pair, and generally I was going to kind of talk to you about some different things related to security. A lot of you have heard about the XML issues. The uh, I wrote an article on it the other day related to um, XML, uh, RCP, the denial of service attacks, and all that good stuff. Um, I actually did write an article on it. It got pulled up in a few other places, but I can tell you for the most part it's a waste of your time. So uh, it really doesn't affect anybody, uh, but I do have some, some nice notes on how you can very easily stop it if it turns out that your website's being used to abuse another website or you, so, or you have some other, uh, some other issues with that uh, XML RPC attack stuff. Um, I, I'm not going to go into any great detail on that. Um, let's see. What I was going to talk about real quick is the something that comes up a lot, and that's the whole brute force attack thing. And uh, most have you, you you've ever been like a, your servers like gone down because of too many connections to WP login and that sort of thing. You ever had any problems like that? You know, it's 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 extremely common. And had my splash top been working properly, I was going to actually show you um, a server that's being attacked, and I was going to actually show you how to stop it uh, within a couple minutes. But I'm just going to answer that question real quick. On my uh, on the HackGuard.com website, I have this uh, page called Protecting WordPress Against Brute Force Attacks. And on that, I have a section called 4A. And this little tiny snippet of code is really all you need to um, stop those sorts of attacks. And do you all know how to use, you all know what HT access is, the HT access file? Yeah, okay, I was going to show you that a moment ago. Didn't get to it. But the HD access files is file that is located at the top of your public underscore HTML directory or your public directory. So literally, all you have to do is if you have a several accounts who are being attacked with this slam in the WP login page in all of your websites, you just simply grab this little snippet of code right there, or put your domain name in its place, and put that in your HD access. I, for example, this morning I had one of my servers was attacked. And 10 of the accounts, I did a log, and it showed 10 of the accounts were being hit by like 1,000 IP addresses all at the same time. And within a couple minutes, I just copied. All of my 10, all this does is, it's, is it tells the server that if anyone tries to post through your WP login form or your administrative uh, directory, all it does is say, if the person who's trying to connect is not hackguard.com or yourwebsite.com, then deny it. And it denies it to a, basically it's a 404, 403 page. So that's it. I mean, there's really nothing more to it. It's the it just simply, that go to the login or, like, correct, login. correct. So it's an Apache level block, meaning that the, the, the account, the processes and the scripting that occurs within the account are not affected. It's a level above the website. So when the client, so when that outside bot hits the server, it goes directly, it checks the HD access uh, file first, and then it doesn't do anything else. So it never has a chance to overload your scripts. So um, like I said, it's really trivial to do. If you have any questions on how to set it up, send me a note. Uh, but I've had, I've had clients call me just out of the blue, and they say, my server's going down. I can't understand what's going on. And in just a couple minutes, it became very obvious it was just a basic WP login attack. Yes, Chris? So while you've got that in there, can your clients log in? Absolutely. Okay. Because all it's doing is you see that little note there where it says post? Okay, posting is when a bot is forcing username passwords into it. When you go into your, uh, and it's being connected from a different location. So notice that it has hackguard.com. So if this website is hackguard.com and I log in, hackguard.com forward slash WP dash login.php, it says, you're good. Continue yeah, on through. Those attacks most of the time are not coming from that part of your website. Correct. They're not going to that login page. They're going in through. They're, go, they're trying to hit the, uh, they're trying to go through your login script. So this is something you should just keep in your HD access. There's no reason why not. Uh, and, and could, you, what, could you name where that is? Yeah, hackguard.com. Hackguard, two okay. words. Hack and then guard. Um, and, it's, and it's right at the top, one of my drop down articles. But this is like, there's a million and one articles on how to block uh, brute force attacks. This is it. Simple answer. If you have 100 websites, you put this in all of your stuff, <coughs> WP login ends. Done. So that is, 
But if you're on a basic server and you just have a standard, particularly a cPanel server, which is this what this one is, I was actually going to show you how to go into File Manager and copy paste and edit save. Literally 10 accounts, stop the WP login attacks, five minutes.